All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, and of course, thanks for subscribing and sticking with us. We're back at it uh, with the latest FSD version 12.5.6.3, which we tested end-to-end -end highway on the last go-round. Now we're gonna do our regression testing, a little bit in reverse, but do our regression testing now. So we're coming up on our first turn, seeing how it does compared version over version, something very simple, very easy, very repeatable, and seeing the little nuances between each version. That's the purpose of this regression test. Can go now if it needs to, it's gonna wait. Three cars, four cars, five cars, a turning car. It's gonna take its time. People are impatient over here. We're gonna take our time here. Let's see what happens. Car coming in hot, and then we can go. And it goes. Good job there. Turn one, pretty good. This build has been pretty good so far uh, from what we've tested on camera and off. Very solid, very smooth, very human-like, um, and just enjoyable to use so far, uh, especially uh, dealing with curbs, no curb issues yet. Hopefully that'll be the case, but let's see what happens on our same path. Coming up on turn two, stays the lane correctly and then makes the turn, poises itself nicely, turns in. Good mile an hour, 11, 10 miles an hour. Perfect job. Cars parked here. Needs to turn in and be careful of the cars coming around the world. A little bit of a evasive maneuver here for something, just maybe being more cautious. I'm okay with that, but a little unsettling. Good job creeping around here. No turn signal needed for a hardware four. And this pothole has been filled in finally. Great. So winding road, a little bit of a, a gaff there. I'm not sure what it is. It didn't affect anyone, so I'm not gonna harp on it, but it did seem like it was trying to react to something. I'm not sure what it was. So all good for the winding road. Now we're gonna jump into our unprotected left. Almost no traffic right now, so the traffic shouldn't be an issue. But let's just see. Full stop, creeps up, all clear all around, can go straight through, and it goes. Great job. No hesitation, no waiting in the middle of the lane, just saw that it was clear and just went for it. That's what we need to see. Coming up to our traffic lights right now. Truck is backing up now too as well. Let's see what happens. Slows down nicely. It's not staging the lane though. That's interesting. So see that it's not staging the lane. So not great. I'm gonna disengage. I'm gonna disengage, wrong button. Get over into the appropriate lane. Note that FSD did not stage the correct lane, was in the turning lane instead of the straight lane. Okay, well, I'll just let it reboot here so I can start again. All right, so that's not good. Kind of failed this uh, traffic light situation just by not staging this lane. That's really new, a uh, little bit of a regression there. I'm not sure what happened. I don't know if that truck backing up had any bearing on the situation, but it didn't even put the signal on like it wanted to get in that lane. It just kind of wanted to hang out in the turning lane, which is not the right behavior in that situation. Now, we, I do recall we have we, us having one incident where it went straight. I think it was the last build 
12.5.4, I believe, where it just kind of went straight through the turn. So that that's all looking like new behavior for this uh, variant of 12.5 build. But let's just hope it's a quick fix. And again, hopefully it doesn't impact anyone. Obviously, if a police officer's there, you run that, that's a problem. If someone thinks you're turning on the opposite side coming this way when they have the two turning uh, signals, that also could be a problem. So luckily it wasn't a problem for us, but it could be a problem for others in different parts of the country. So it definitely should be addressed. All green here, going over the train track coming up. A little bit of a predictive slowdown for that pedestrian. Not the greatest. Um, it seems to do that from time to time. Not very frequently, but from time to time. I've heard people say it does it a lot. Almost comes to a complete stop. That was pretty strong stop as well, but wasn't at a complete stop. So I'm not sure. <clears throat> seems to be the sensitivity of, I guess, the predictive nature of the build, meaning anticipating what people, pedestrians, or other cars are going to do is getting the best of it can turn on red it's green now and we're good good distance from the curb good poise appreciate that all right so that was the whole course very simple very easy this is intended specifically for regression so we can see little nuances like how it turns on a straight lane or something like that Good job there on the curb, and we're good to go. Um, how it how it stays in, this, in the lane, how it takes the unprotected left, things like that. That's what we want to see. Not parking, I'm just briefly stopped here. <laughs> uh, that's what we want to see from this build. It's not intended to be a rigorous gauntlet or torture test. It's just supposed to be able to show the minor differences from build to build and see how consistent Tesla is at iterating on this uh, this FSD software. All right, so right now it looked like um, it was gonna be flawless and all other camera uh, videos that I've done or all of the drives I should say that I've done off camera have been pretty flawless. This had some issues with it, um, almost no traffic, good weather conditions, the sun is not glaring, cloudy day, a little bit overcast, which is great. Um, so no excuses there. But overall, I think in terms of confidence, it was pretty good. A little bit of hesitation, wasn't wasn't sky high, wasn't what we saw in the end to end tests of the highway. Um, and then in terms of decision making, it made a lot of good decisions, but obviously made the glaring decision to stay in the turning lane as opposed to getting in the straight lane. So that wasn't great. And then obviously it decided to slow down randomly in the middle of an intersection for what it thought was the pedestrian or whatever. I'm not going to make assumptions or excuses for it. So not the greatest um, in that regard, uh, I think, for this regression test. The safety element of it um, was there. I was still, I still felt safe, but again, just these weird slowdowns where nothing's there gives me cause to pause, makes me feel a little unsafe, especially depending on where we are. And obviously going straight in a turning lane brings down safety a notch as well. In terms of comfort, everything was super comfortable, hard braking a little bit in the intersection, uh, no big deal, but it was unexpected. So that, that, knocked, that knocked it down a little bit. So for this regression test path, if we look at the regression test path of all the other ones, I'm going to have to give this one um, low levels of Uber Black, maybe even bordering on Uber X, uh, just because of how it handled the whole, all the situations in this drive. So maybe let's put it high Uber X down from Uber Black, which it was on the highway end to end, Uber, high levels of Uber Black. Now with this particular test drive, this path, this regression test path is effectively um, Uber X on this path. We'll do some more drives, see how it does. Let me know in the comments what you thought, what you think this drive did, if you think it deserves something better, deserves something worse, and let me know what your experiences have been if you have 12.5.6.3. Obviously, this is going to be for hardware 4 specifically. Let me know in the comments. Until the next time, enjoy your day. Enjoy your Tesla.